people have lost their lives in Manyani, Nakuru East after a fire gutted down their house in the morning incident. The deceased persons included a mother and her two daughters, all of whom Nakuru East Deputy Sub-County Police Commander Wilson Duati said that they were found dead in their bedrooms. <laughs> Josephat Juma, a neighbor, said that he was alerted by a resident who spotted unusual smoke billowing from the small spaces on the roof of the house and alerted the other neighbors to come help them extinguish it. The neighbors who came to help put off the fire say that they were not sure if there were people inside the house when they responded, noting that by the time they got into the house, the fire had already spread through the two bedrooms, one belonging to the mother and the other for the two daughters. Bahati mzuri kuna mwenye alikuja sijui ni wawapi, akanipea talimbo, nikavunja hiyo murango. Nikivunja niliuliza, ndani kuna watu, niliuliza zaidi ya maratano. Ndani kuna watu, nikambua kuna watu. Vile niliingia ndani ungeona chochote. Sasa, mimi nilikuwa ni mtu kuona tu movie hivi so unaonaga movie naonaga vile wanafanyaga rescue vitu nikalala chini nikaanza kutambaa huko chini ndani nikaenda nikashika viti nilikuwa nashika nikivuta napatiana hapa nje nao wanatoa sasa mimi kitu ya kwanza na uzunika pole kwa hii familia kama ningejua kuna watu ndani ningetafuta ta tactics zenye ningetumia na ningeingia huko ndani ningeokoa kwa sababu nikifika the residents say that their efforts to put off the fire were futile and decided to ask for help from the firefighters. And by the time the fire was put off, the three had already been burned to death. The family has, however, been eulogized as a very kind family as they did not have trouble with anyone. Kitoka tu hivi kidogo, nikasikia kelele, nyumba inaungua, nyumba inaungua. Na sayo mimi siku piga step kuja huku, nika call emergency. Your fire ikakuja. Gari ya fire ikakuja immediately after 10 minutes hivi. Na huyu mama tunajua kama mama cheupe. Ainanga mambo mingi. Hata watoto wake wote ninajua. Ako kijana mmoja ndio huyu sasa ni survivor ndio amebaki na watoto wa watatu wawili wasichana. Sasa ndio the middle-aged woman who was unmarried is now survived by her only son, Kenan Muchemi, aged 19. Muchemi, who recently completed high school, was lucky to escape the inferno as he had stopped living with his parents. Buddha. Buddha, come on. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Take care of it.